this episode, we're going to have a look at multiple databases in Rails. And this feature was released with Rails 6. And there's a lot of different ways that you can use this feature. One method, if you have one database server, you could have multiple databases on that instance. And with Rails 6 or later, you would be able to then attach certain models to certain databases. Alternatively, if you have a primary database and if you have a replica, you could actually send a lot of your reads over to the replica database instead of the primary. And that has a lot of performance implications where you can speed up some requests if you find that you're doing a lot of writes and a lot of reads. And so in this episode, we're going to have a look at multiple databases in Rails and some of the different features that it covers. We will not be looking at the infrastructure side of things or setting up a primary and replica, because a lot of cloud solutions have their own mechanism for setting those up. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.